Hi everyone! This is going to be a two-part tutorial on breaks. I'm going to first cover just the basics of breaks and um, what they're, I guess, the theory behind them and then some really simple ones that you started. And then the second one will be about how to vary those and some more like interesting complex breaks. So let's get started. Um, so basically with breaks, what you want to do is kind of absorb the, the momentum and the energy of the hoop as it's going one way and then send it back the other way. And you can do this on waist, shoulder, chest, uh, there's just many, many different ways that you can uh, do a break. And I actually first learned a really easy break, the, the first one I'm going to teach you, very early on. And that made me able to, um, it just made it easier to learn things like chest hooping and shoulder hooping and things like that because if I felt like it was falling, it's a good save. So I can be shoulder hooping and then when it seems like maybe like I'm losing momentum a little bit, like I just did, I can just catch it and send it around again. So one, two, and then it's going back the way that it was going before. So that like really, really helped me and it still does now. Like I could be vertical shoulder hooping and do a break or I don't know, anything like that. Whenever it seems like your hooping is getting a little wonky or you're not sure if it's going to keep going, you know, you can just sit, put a break in there and then you get the momentum started again. So um, your easiest break is going to be during shoulder hooping. So what you're going to be doing is coming underneath the hoop. Sorry, this is hard to hold still. Um, just like you see here, you're coming underneath the hoop and grabbing it and cradling it in your arm here. So I'm going to do this vertically so you can see it a little bit easier. Um, basically, I would be hooping and then I would allow the hoop to come into my arm like here. So right along your forearm and elbow and you're just grabbing right underneath just like this and giving with it a little bit and then sending it the other way and grab the other one. So if this was to be in kind of like a slow-mo, it would look like I was grabbing it here. And you're gonna grab when there's space in front of you. It comes over to here in front of me and then I'm gonna bring my arm up and grab it and go this way. And that's just like a continuous break right there. So, horizontally, just like this. You can also do it to just switch the direction if you're working on different currents or whatever. So I'm going to be going the right way, or the left, going to the left, sorry. Catch, and then send it the other way. Um, the other thing that is really important with breaks is that you move with the hoop. Because if you're just going and then you try to break it, it um, will go really fast and also with more complicated breaks than this where you're not just grabbing and sending it back, it can, uh, it can throw the hoop off and make it change plane. You don't want it to do that. So you really have to turn and grab here. And you're always going to be breaking along your side or right in the back or like right in the front. All along the side because um, it's just where it's easier. <laughs> So if you look without the hoop, I'm just kind of coming like this. And that should come pretty easily. It's whenever there's a space in front of you and the hoop's coming around close to your arm, that's when you grab it. So that is the easiest break you can do. Another easy break is to have it going around your waist. And then instead of coming underneath, you come over the top and you're just going to grab it on the side with an overhand. So like this. 
and you can just tap it and send it back or you can grab it and throw it back whatever is more comfortable or easy for you I don't actually do this break that often but I think it is kind of cool and you can do them faster just send it the other way and push it back um, you know whatever works I'm just stopping it kind of like this grabbing it and pushing it back And again, that's right along my side. So those are just some pretty simple ones that incorporate using your hand and your arm. The next one I'm going to show you is a little more complicated because it's harder to keep the hoop from not, from I guess staying in the same plane that you want it to and to keep the momentum going correctly because you're kind of slashing it with your arm. So you go like this. This is also a little more like high impact, I guess, for the hoop. So you want to make sure that you have um, a more heavy duty hoop so it's not getting all bouncy or whatever. I mean, it'll probably be fine, but anyway, I'm. this is another one that I'm going to show you vertically just because it's going to be easier. I'll do it actually. I'll start this way. This is one that I will quite often use to transition. I use this one too to transition into vertical a lot because all you have to do is just start tilting yourself down. But um, this one automatically quite often does it so I just have to get going vertically anyway. But you'll see I'm just moving my arms and then right about here kind of pinching it and then going that way. So like I said before when you're doing this, you want to go with the hoop and then come back with the hoop. So I'm turning around and then sending it backwards. So the best way to know where to put your arm or whatever besides being back here, where to stick it in around the outside is to, well number one, uh, I would definitely recommend watching Anne Humphrey's um, Outer Space tutorial and the inner space one because that'll help you a lot with knowing where the hoop is. It like totally helped me and changed the way I hooped but it's beside the point. Um, what you want to do is follow the hoop around so you want to kind of slow it down and then find a place on the hoop and then where there's that open where it's, there's like a little bit of open space because the hoop's touching you you know follow it around and then you can when it comes like when it sorry <laughs> okay so I'm stopping right here see my my hand is right about here and it's in the elbow basically so the like I said before there's space in front of you and I followed I followed it around I followed that space around my body until it came back to here and then when it wasn't going to be any more space my arm can't go any further behind my back. That's when I'm breaking and sending it the other way. Um, this one is very, it's very important that you give with the hoop. Like I said before, also because it'll prevent getting really bad bruises. <laughs> so you really want to like exaggerate your, your rotations so that you give a little bit with the hoop because it shouldn't hurt. It might at first until you get the hang of it, but it shouldn't be really painful or anything. So those are three simple breaks that I hope can help you do transitions or, you know, keep the hoop up if you're having problems or just to add new moves in um, and look out for Part two. Thanks.